Gun Meme Review. Oh, it would help if my mic was pointed at me. That's cool. Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Welcome back to another episode of GMR. Hope you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Even if you spent it alone, remember, I love you. I love you. Is that a big iron on your hip, or are you just happy to see me? would unironically send that. But we got a lot of stuff to cover this episode. Red dots and weapon lights are apparently useless. Cops flipping out and mag dumping at people because of assault acorns. Other random shit I found in my Instagram feed. All of this and more on this episode of Gun Meme Review. Strap yourselves in. So starting out, yeah, yeah, we're gonna talk about the Ken Hackathorn thing. Hey, Tony, did you see more of this nonsense from Ken Hackathorn and Wilson Combat? I can't have this conversation again. Yeah, so some shit I really didn't expect on my 2024 bingo card. Respected instructor Ken Hackathorn uh, recently did an interview with Wilson Combat, where he basically shat on modern technology, and it was very confusing to the majority of the industry. For one, he said there's basically no benefit in putting a red dot on a carry pistol. I have guys tell me, well, they're faster and more accurate than dot than iron sight. Well, I don't buy, I don't drink that Kool-Aid. You also kind of shout on people who carried weapon mounted lights. Said you don't need it and they're overrated. If you carry a gun with a light on it, when's the last time you needed that? The you bottom line is I think lights in today's world are extremely overrated. And the industry weighed in a little bit. I swear this page is actually just a huge ironic troll and we're all falling for it. I hope. Grand thumb with a simple but poignant, now would have mercy. <laughs> Ken Hackathorn and Wilson Combat's least favorite Bible verse, Genesis 1-3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. So before we go too crazy with the memes, let me give you a little bit of background as to why he's an industry respected firearms instructor. So Ken Hackathorn was actually a US Army Special Forces firearms instructor. He served as a consultant for industry giants like Glock, Smith & Wesson, HK. He's trained SWAT teams, law enforcement, was actually an instructor over at Gunsight for a while, a place I've actually taken, ironically, a red dot course at. Certified deputy sheriff, and on top of that, it's actually one of the founders of IPSC and IDPA. So I think it's actually fair to say he's one of the fathers of modern three gun and competition shooting. So now that we've put the appropriate amount of respect on his name, let's get, let's get into the memes. Hackathorn, when something was invented after 1960. Do you really need a weapon light on every pistol? Even your concealed carry? You kids and your gadgets. Compelling argument, I cast fireball. That is one of the interesting arguments in favor of carrying a weapon light. Not only is it for when it's dark and you can get, you know, better positive target ID and see your sights better and everything, just shoot more accurately. A good weapon light will also blind the fuck out of a motherfucker. Now I am a bit of a hypocrite on this one. I do not currently carry with a light on my carry gun. I do, however, have a red dot. Got me a Harosan. All right, so one thing at a time. When he's talking about red dots from a defensive distance of one to 10 yards, we're basically talking point shooting distance, right? The idea that you won't have much of a difference in accuracy at, you know, stupid close distance between you know, iron sights and a red dot. Okay, I understand that. Red dot sighted pistol at zero to 10 yards has no advantage over iron sights. It's not faster, it's not more accurate. Personally, I'd say my target acquisition is a little bit faster and easier with a dot, but you know, I, I could understand the argument. But A, carry how you're most comfortable. And B, there are real world instances where you need to go out a little bit further in a self-defense situation. Look at the Indianapolis mall shooting with Elijah Dickens. There was a shooter who was out to cause a lot of death and destruction who never really got the chance because Elijah Dickens was carrying a Glock 19X and dispatched him from 40 yards away before he really got a chance to really, well, do what he planned on doing. Using night sights, using a red dot, using a red dot and a weapon light, using tracers galaxy brain move. Now you can both see your attacker and probably set him on fire. It's like a video game stat where you have like a 10% additional chance of fire damage. Now the light stuff I will say I do kind of find a bit strange. I mean hell, Ken Hackathorn and Bill Wilson literally wrote the book, or well the DVD, called Nightmaster, Low Light Shooting and Flashlight Techniques. So he's not like a Luddite boomer who fears technology, like he's clearly you know, proficient with it. I'm just not sure I understand the argument, to be honest. If you carry a gun with a light on it, when's the last time you needed that? Yeah. And most people, if they're honest, will tell you, well, not really. Like from my perspective, uh, if you're using the argument that, you know, most of the people who uh, carry a gun with a weapon light have never needed to use their weapon light, therefore you shouldn't carry a weapon light. I mean, the vast majority of people who carry a gun in general have never had to use the gun. Still doesn't mean you shouldn't conceal carry. Some of the memes got a little harsh, not gonna lie. Ken Hackathorn and Paul Howe discuss putting Ken in a retirement home. So I'm gonna throw this one to you guys, because honestly, I don't feel qualified to necessarily have a, a 
you know, be all, end all, uh, this is the correct opinion. And I sure as shit don't have Ken's credentials. So what do you think? Carrying a pistol with a red dot and a weapon light. Is it cringe or is it useful? Are you prepared or are you just a gear whore? Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, I don't even have a weapon light. So uh, <laughs> I know which side I fall on. People who use white light, NVG guys, thermal bros. Me who shoots wildly at sounds in the dark. Positive target ID is important, but I'll live to fight another day. I'm kidding, all of that was a joke, please don't do that. But no matter where you fall on the ideal setup for your concealed carry gun, I think we can all agree that the most important part is that you actually carry. Like the saying goes, the best concealed carry gun is the one that you actually carry with you. And what's better than carrying, it's carrying comfortably. That's actually where I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Arrowhead Tactical. Basically what they offer is athletic apparel, but specifically made to help you conceal carry better. Whether it's hoodies, joggers, shorts, holsters, Arrowhead's got you covered, including something I never thought I'd say, concealed carry sweatpants. It's got an inner belt, which makes it really rigid and easy to draw from. They're a cool new sponsor, so we wanted to be sure to give them some love. If you wanna check out what they make, you can click the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate Arrowhead for sponsoring Gun Meme Review. Back to the Gun meme review. All right, now, because we had to talk about it, why is our feed suddenly full of cops and acorns? I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. So by some chance you didn't see the video. A man was arrested for something like a domestic dispute. I think he threatened his girlfriend or something along those lines. The man is detained in the back of a police SUV. The cop is then walking around the vehicle when suddenly, Disaster strikes. A falling acorn hits the top of the vehicle. The cop then mistakes that for a suppressed gunshot and combat rolls away. Just fire! Just fire! Just fire! And proceeds to mag dump at the vehicle. I'm hit! I'm hit! There's a lot of weird stuff. Then he, he like claims in the video that he's hit and like maybe the plate caught it. There, there's a lot of just, this is a weird fucking video. I had to watch it like four or five times before I truly understood what the fuck happened. If you haven't seen it, my good buddy Donut Operator actually did a great breakdown of this video over on his channel. As me and him at brunch likened this to being a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Yeah, if you've never fired a suppressed weapon, they are quieter, it's much more enjoyable to shoot. I would recommend it. They are not as fucking quiet as an acorn hitting the roof of a fucking SUV. There's also normally more things that go along with that, you know, like broken glass and being shot. New service medal just dropped. Acorn award, shoot first, questions later. And the AI art has been going fucking hard on this. Just look at that shit. 2024, we'll have flying cars and we got AI generated Cops versus squirrels. You f with squirrels, Morty! Only cops have the training and professionalism to handle firearms responsibly. The cops. Yeah, the lefty mindset on that has always been confusing to me. Let's defund police and make sure they don't have the appropriate training to be able to do their job. Also, you're not responsible enough to have a gun and police are the only ones who should have guns. If you try hard enough, you can usually get a leftist to say those two statements within about a paragraph of each other. It's kind of a fun game. The Firearm Policy Coalition jumping in. You don't need to carry a gun, just call the police. LOL, fuck you, no. God, man, especially if you're in one of these big cities. You live in one of these shitholes where they've already defunded their police department and then they wonder when there's a naked homeless guy with an ax trying to break down their front door why the police are 72 minutes away. You want this, don't you? But yeah, I'm pretty sure the cop resigned like immediately. Hernandez resigned just weeks later. Luckily though, nobody was hurt in the incident. Otherwise that would have been, God, just an indefensible nightmare. Either way, homeboy in the back of that SUV is getting fucking paid. I mean, he's got a lot of options available to him now. Like for example, if he wants to pursue that suppressor interest or you know, maybe his interest in gunsmithing and weapons technology, he can just go to sdi.edu using the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. They're a great sponsor of the channel and we appreciate their support. So now let's get into some good old fashioned gun memes. That gun broker auction that finally went higher than my stupidly high bid. Me, now not having to explain an unexpected expense to my wife. This may have happened to me fairly recently with something, except I won. And you guys know what it is. Remember that really, really cursed gun on gun broker that we covered in the last cursed gun images? I, uh, I have that now. Did I buy it because I thought it would make good content for you guys in the future? Or did I buy it because I am simply fucking re- both. 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 By the way, this is what everyone looks like carrying a gun in a casino. They 100% know. They don't care unless you're out here scaring the hoes. 
Carry on now. Yeah, thermal imaging can be a motherfucker sometimes. By the way, this tweet has to be referencing SHOT Show. There were so many, so many guns. You just know. You just know there were so many guns carried in that casino floor. Whether it's legal or not, whether or not it's allowed by the venue, I mean, I felt pretty safe. Weird, like 60,000 of the world's most armed people congregated in one place at one time in one city, and even though there was a shitload of alcohol involved, nobody got shot. Mm. Mm. The anti-gun mind simply cannot comprehend. Hey guys, in the Denver airport right now, because I totally forgot to film this earlier before I got my flight. If you wanna come catch us to the Unsubscribe Podcast Live, we have four tour dates that we've just now announced. Come see me, Eli, the fat electrician, and Donut all in person, hang out, and have some laughs. All right, back to the video. God, there's nothing more awkward than recording in an airport. When they actually come back with level four plates. ruh ruh raggy I don't know. It's what the, uh, H car with black tips for. Black tip 30 out six, turning level four plates into a suggestion two rounds at a time. Now I know we talked a lot about red dot sights today, but let's talk for a second about iron sights. Specifically the new patent pending Magpul soy jack sights. Just in case you need a reminder to keep focus on the front sight. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. I am coming for dad ass, Tony. Yeah guys, the election season, thank God, is coming down to crunch time. It's almost over, less than two weeks left until March 5th. So if you're a registered voter in District 23 of Texas, you can cast your vote for me on March 5th to unseat the anti-gun, anti-border rhino, Tony Gonzalez. Your support through all this has been fucking amazing. Seriously, I appreciate it. We're able to move mountains thanks to the support you guys have shown. Which reminds me, the winner of that AK is actually Joel W. from Kansas. You are now the proud new owner of a Polish AK-74 built by me and the crew. But don't worry, the campaign is still doing one more until March 5th. And it is a big boy. 300 Norma Mag big. After March 5th, this 21st Tech 300 Norma Mag is going to belong to a random person who's contributed $5 or more to the campaign. Every $5 is another entry. Seriously guys, it's been a hell of an adventure and I just appreciate your support again. We're really coming together and putting our money where our mouth is and we are literally memeing our way into Congress where we can get a bad establishment politician out and a real unbought constitutional vote in. Well guys, that just about wraps it up for Gun Meme Review. I appreciate you guys staying all the way to the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Got some baller range videos coming up. The AK-50 video is nearing completion. And fuck it, we might just do another Darwin Award soon. So let me know down in the comments which one of those you'd rather see first. I have a suspicion. But be sure to check to make sure you're still subscribed. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put things right to the top. But I can't let you get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck, get stuck.